web blog in place, profile assets gathered, we're now ready to look at platforms that will build audience and create community. There are two levels of social media platforms and dozens of variations on each. First, you have the social gathering spaces. Second, you have the sites that are social bursts. This week, I'm going to talk about the three of the gathering type spaces, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Let's start with the most useful and least likely to be at the top of your list, LinkedIn. Keep in mind, I'm focusing Monday's lecture on emerging filmmakers, film school students who need to be using social media to build an audience, show work, get jobs. LinkedIn was built as an electronic business networking platform. Dust off the resume and set up a profile. Start with the background and craft a brief paragraph, similar to the or same as the blog space about page. Next, in the experience section, lay out a chronicle of your work history. Finally, fire off some email to crewmates for reference paragraphs and a couple of skill endorsements. Be judicial in this process. Don't just load up the list because a bloated endorsement list looks like, well, you're pushing it. Working with a network of filmmakers, you can share endorsements and references so everyone is going to start with a solid base. Now, don't forget to mark your calendar and come back here regularly to keep things current. You should also set aside some time for networking. Done right, this can be a starting point for potential clients and employers. I hate Facebook, particularly for the job of building audience because it's too jumbled. My complaint the news feed, which is typically the home page or landing space, really isn't a controllable stream, so you don't know what is being seen or by who. Plus, nothing seems to change as fast as trending on Facebook, and it's really kind of junked up with ads. This stream is a bit too wide to hold a course, though it's shallow enough to walk across. On the other hand, there's Google+. Well, there was Google+. We'll see what shakes out in the next few weeks. But what's bad about Facebook is good about Google+. You can organize connections or likes into managed circles and then speak to one or all depending on the message. It's very scalable. Control versus reach. Actually, the lack of reach on Google+, is a benefit. You can start from scratch, which is what I suggest you do regardless of which social gathering platform you choose but particularly if you're going to use Facebook. I'm not going to waste time here talking about how to set up a profile, a page, or a group. I will point out that you must read their use agreements, paying close attention to business use, because if this works, then it's not personal, it's business. My recommendation? Leave your current Facebook page alone. Start up a profile on Google+, and network from there. The advantage of circles for directed content Related messages and managing contacts will be invaluable. Google Plus is enhanced by its direct connection to YouTube. I will warn you about trying to manage more than a couple of social gathering platforms where they're intended to be audience and content marketing tools. Your attention needs to be on content generation, and these are sharing sites, not content display platforms. In the next lecture, we'll look at social bursts of information. Until next week, thanks for watching.